بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله dearest and most beloved the divine brothers and sisters in the concourse of humanity and the fraternity of religions welcome to this the electric mosque's presentation of the teachings of islam striving to bring islam into your homes into your hearts and into the universe and to give praise and thanks to god almighty for his blessings and mercy as i said the electric mosque's presentation of the teachings of islam there is the most beloved and divine brothers and sisters in the fraternity of religions in the concourse of humanity may the peace may the mercies may the blessings of god almighty be with one and all we are in the blessed hajj season we are in the blessed period of the sacrifice the qurbani sacrifice to commemorate the pain the trauma and the struggle of the patriarch Ibrahim or Abraham prophet seer friend of god <coughs> brothers and sisters at this point the hajis are preparing for the three days of harshness difficulties to commemorate one of the greatest events in history where over 3 million people would be gathered in mecca and for the commemoration of the hajj in an area called mina i was there i know that feeling i know the lamentation and i know the cry of the pilgrims in crying out for forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they're here in the city of sacrifice that they're here in the city of abraham they are here in the land and the country in the city of muhammad peace and blessings of god be upon them all and this is the cry of the pilgrims as they are traveling some walking on foot for months some traveling by boat for weeks some traveling by aircraft and away from their family sacrificing to fulfill the fifth pillar of islam of the hajj and to cry out this evergreen love cry for peace and for unity and for oneness of god labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika lak labbaik innal hamda wa ni'mata lak wal mulk la sharika lak labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika lak labbaik innal hamda wa ni'mata lak wal mulk 
labbaik Allahumma labbaik labbaik laak sharika laka labbaik inna lahamda wal niyamati laka wal mulk la sharika lak labbaik Allahumma labbaik labbaik laak sharika laka labbaik inna lahamda wal niyamati laka wal mulk labbaik Allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika laka labbaik Inna alhamda wal niyamati laka wal mulk la sharika lak And you go on like that until you can hear the echo of the voices You can hear the echo of the voices of the people in the atmosphere in the heavens coming down back at you by the millions reciting Labbaik Allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika laka labbaik إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لبيك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لبيك اللهم لبيك Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik Inna lahamda wal niyamati laka wal mulk And what is, what is the pilgrims, what are they saying by the millions? O Allah, here I am in thy august presence, O Allah As I seek your beneficence and your mercies and your forgiveness, O Allah Forgive me as I worship you and I fulfill my fifth pillar of Islam. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. Inna alhamda wal niyamati laka wal mulk. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. My dearest brothers and sisters. Welcome to the teachings of Islam. And I hope you heard that haunting spiritual battle cry of the pilgrims started from time immemorial built by Hazrat Adam in the Kaaba Sharif of Makkah and then by Prophet Abraham rebuilt and Muhammad al be peace maintained and true even long before Ibrahim God Almighty saved the Kaaba Sharif when Abraham the big general of Ethiopia was envious of the Arabs out of this place built by Hazrat Adam for the pilgrims from around the world will move to the center for prayers and forgiveness even though it might have lost its spiritual monotheistic discretion I will visit it even by idolaters but they were coming from around the world for worship sacrifice and trade and Abraham wanted to destroy the Kaaba his king and himself they built the great place and was encouraging all the pilgrims all of those who are going to pilgrimage to Mecca to go to Ethiopia and to do the worship and the sacrifice and trade there but the people continued to go to Mecca and so he went off with the elephants he went off with hundreds and thousands of thousands upon thousands of soldiers and hundreds of elephants the ancestors of Prophet Muhammad could only have prayed and they cried out to God for protection of the holy city and the holy building and as they were going and thunderous elephants were heading there they cried out to God and God Almighty Creator Lord of the Worlds blessed the birds the swallows all kinds of birds by the millions to pick up little little pieces of clay and God empowered the clay as if they were bombs and empowered the clay as if 
with disease like a bacterial warfare bombs of bacteria before man could have realized them and as the birds by the millions will pick up this clay and the bacteria that God put in it and it will fall upon the Ethiopians or the soldiers of Ebra who were going to wipe out Makkah and the Kabu Sharif and it would explode upon them and bore the animals that were coming as if they would be pierced by machine guns and bombs and they would explode and they would form diseases upon the bodies while alive of the soldiers and the people of Makkah were instructed to remove into hiding and keep away and then the bacteria would eat the animals and the soldiers and the entire army died and was, were wiped out this is the glory of God so I know what Allah sent us a surah or a chapter on that Surah Al-Fi Surah Al-Fi which tells us have you heard of the story of the elephants? Have you heard of the story of the elephants? How God Almighty destroyed them by just using his elements of the birds and the mud of the earth and the power of bee. That is correct. This is the wonder place and a wonderful city. So let us see what the Quran says about this place and about Prophet Abraham the Patriarch. Bismillah rahman rahim al-Baqarah chapter 2 part 1 section 15 verses 124 I commence from أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم And remember that Abraham was tried by his Lord with certain commands which he fulfilled. He said, Allah, I will make thee an imam, a leader to the nations. He pleaded, that's Abraham, and also Imams from my offspring. Abraham is crying out for his offsprings to do the good of good and to maintain the wonders of this blessing that God Almighty is pouring into the heart and soul of Ibrahim. Peace and blessings of God be upon him. God Almighty answered. He answered, but my promise is not within the reach of evildoers. In other words, God Almighty is saying, God Almighty is saying, Yes, but if they are evil, they must not expect. They must not expect to become leaders and imams. So he says what? My promises are not within the reach of evildoers. I hope you're keeping a time. 30 minutes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might notice a little bit of newness. I have a new young man trying to do this job, so please excuse the bits of distortions. Remember, we made the house, the Kaaba, a place of assembly for men and the place of safety. And take ye the station of Abraham. As a place of prayer. And we covenanted. That is we promise. We make a contract with Abraham. And Ishmael. The firstborn of Abraham. That they should sanctify my house. 
for those who compass it around or use it as a retreat or bow or prostrate themselves therein in prayer. God Almighty is telling us that we must understand the beauty and the purpose of the Kaaba and that he made a contract with Prophet Abraham and his son Prophet Ishmael, the firstborn and favorite of Abraham that they must keep the place sanctified or holy. There cannot be wars. There cannot be animal killing. There cannot be pain and misery. There can only be those who come pass it around, who go there to the worship, to pray, and to service and worship God, to seek forgiveness, or for a holy holiday, the Umrah, that is a retreat, or Ubao, or prostrate and worship there. And remember old time. Old time we keep on hearing. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. Inna lahamda. Wal niyamate laka wal mulk. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. In Alhamda, Wal Nyamati Laka Wal Mulk, as they're going around the Kaaba and praying and reciting and doing Zikir and Shahada and they're reciting this and all the to and fro from the hotel, from the place of stay and rest, worshipping Allah with Labaik Allah, whom Allah can cry out for forgiveness. And we proceed, 126. And remember Abraham said, My Lord, make this a city of peace. This is what he cried out for. He cried out to God Almighty for this temple, this place of peace. My Lord, make this a city of peace and feed its people with fruits. Such as them as believe in Allah, God Almighty, and the last day. That was the prayer of Abraham. As enshrined in the Holy Quran, He, Allah says, Yea, with such as reject faith for a while, I will grant them their pleasure, but will soon drive them to the torment of fire and evil destruction indeed. So while he is praying for the city of peace, he said, yes, even if they err, and even if they commit wrong, I, subhanahu wa ta'ala, I will bear with them a little. But if they don't reconvene themselves and recapture themselves, I will drive them to the torment of fire. And he's, God Almighty is describing as what? An evil destination indeed. And remember Abraham and Ishmael raised the foundation of the house with this prayer. And this is the prayer. Open up your hearts, dearest brothers and sisters in Guyana and around the world. Visitors in Guyana from the various hotels. Our Lord Accept this service from us, for thou art the hearing, the all knowing. The prayer continues, our Lord, make us Muslims, that is one who bow or submit to the will of God, bowing to thy will and of our progeny of people, Muslims, who continue to bow. Bowing to thy will and show us our places for the celebration of Jurash and turn unto us in mercy, for thou art the oft relenting, most merciful. Our Lord, send 
amongst them a messenger of their own. The prayer continues. Listen carefully. Muslims and non-Muslims, brothers and sisters around the world, the prayer of Abraham when he reconsecrated the Kaaba with Ishmael. Our Lord sent amongst them a messenger of their own who shall rehearse thy signs to them and instruct them in scripture and wisdom and purify them for thou art the exalted in might, the wise. Brothers and sisters, that was the prayer of Ibrahim. So that in the end also, so the real founder of Islam, if there is such a thing as a founder of Islam, it was Ibrahim. Abraham. Prophet Muhammad continued his legacy. And we know that Hazrat Adam and all the other prophets were all Muslims. In the sense that they all bowed and submitted to the will of God. And he was asking for what? Our Lord sent amongst them a messenger of their own. Remember, all the nations have prophets and teachers. Every other nation, including the people in the jungles, the American Indians, or the, or the original people, they had their prophets. Throughout the world, the Jews had many. The Hindus in India had theirs. The Japanese had theirs, but the Arabs never had any. So here Prophet Abraham is begging Allah to send one of their own in this land of Mecca. And therefore, that was Muhammad. Who is them? And purify them, for thou art the exalted in might, the wise. So brothers and sisters, we are blessed to have Muhammad, who rehearsed the teachings of, of Adam, the prophets after Adam, that is, Noah and the others, until Abraham, then all the way down, all those in between, to Prophet Muhammad to teach us. And we continue. Section 16 of chapter 2, part 1. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And who turns away from the religion of Abraham but such as a debase their souls with folly? Anyone who turns away from the religion of Abraham, which is Islam. God Almighty is telling us. They are fools. They make their souls a folly. Him we chose and rendered pure in this world and he will be in the hereafter in the ranks of the righteous. Prophet Abraham was specially chosen and so were his descendants I'm coming upon that. His descendants, many of whom, all of whom are prophets. All the way unto Muhammad, the very last prophet. All the prophets or the descendants after him from his loin or his seed. 131. Behold, the Lord said unto him, Submit thy will to me, he said. I bow my will to the Lord and cherisher of the universe. Video this part. Verse 131, Behold, his Lord said unto him, Submit thy will to me. He said, I bow my will to the Lord and cherisher of the universe. We got to take a minute and recite the spiritual battle cry of the pilgrims, of the heirs of Allah. Of the travelers or the muhajirs and the ansars of Allah. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. Inna lahamda wal niyamati laka wal mulk. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. 
لبائک لا شریک لکا لبائک ان الحمد والنعمت لکا والملک 132 And this was the legacy that Abraham left to his sons And so did Jacob O oh my sons Allah hath chosen the faith for you then die not except in the state of submission to Allah. 133. Were you, were ye witnesses when death appeared before Jacob? Behold, he said to his sons, What will ye worship after me? They said, We shall worship thy God. And the God of thy father, of Abraham, Ishmael, and Isaac, the one true God, to him we bow in Islam. That was a people that had passed away. They shall reap the fruit of what they did, and ye of what you do. Of their merits, there is no question in your case. They say, become Jews or Christian. The Quran is telling us, and this is coming from God Almighty. They say, become Jews or Christians. If ye will be guided right to salvation, sayest thou, this is our most answer, nay, I would rather the religion of Abraham is true. And he joined not gods with the absolute creator, Lord of the worlds, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say ye, these are the orders we are getting. We believe in Allah, the one true God. And the revelation given to us and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac. We do not deny Isaac, but he was the second born. Jacob and the tribes. And that given to Moses and to Jesus. And that given to all the prophets from their Lord. We make no difference between one and the other of them. And we bow to Allah, God Almighty, in Islam, in submission to the one true God. 137. So if they believe as ye believe, they are indeed on the right path. But if they turn back, it is they who are in the schism. But Allah will suffice thee as against them. And he is the all hearing, the all knowing. Our religion is the religion of Abraham. Our religion is the baptism of Allah. Who can baptize better than Allah? And it is He whom we worship. Brothers and sisters, who can baptize better than Allah? So we Muslims, friends and families around the world, are baptized by the Spirit of God. The higher form of baptism, a spiritual baptism. Say, will ye dispute with us about Allah, seeing that he is our Lord and your Lord, that we are responsible for our doings, and ye for yours, and that we are sincere in our faith in him. And as I close, my beloved, divine brothers and sisters, 
140. Or do ye do or do ye or do ye say that Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the tribes were Jews or Christians? Say, do you know better than Allah? Ah, who is more unjust than those who conceal the testimony they have from Allah? But God Almighty Allah is not unmindful of what ye do. 141 and the final. That was the people that had passed away. They shall reap the fruit of what they did and ye of what ye did. Of what ye did. Of their merits, there is no question in your case. Brothers and sisters, dearest, most beloved, divine brothers and sisters, this is my presentation and explanation today to you from my heart to you all on this, the Hajj pilgrimage period and the Qurbani or sacrifice period which must help to unite humanity. And remember the Quran, those who criticize it, the meat or the blood is not for Allah. But it is submission to the will of God. Taqwa. Listening to his instruction. And this is why we are so close to Abraham. And they had to use animals. Because they don't have vegetation. They don't have vegetables. So the tradition passed on. And we are commanded how to do it. May the peace and the mercies and the blessings. Of God Almighty be with the nation Guyana. And you in the electric mosques. Presentation of the teachings of Islam around the world. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. Remind your brothers and friends. A reminder that our charity, our goods, our food. Whatever we have is not only for the Islamic community, but for all humanity. That is to work for peace. That is work with the commission of police, our military forces, with the government of the day, with the opposition for peace, love, and harmony. It's an appeal for the opposition and the government to work for a one world nation, where all men will be judged by the contents of the character, and so that they could enjoy the fruits of this earth, but the fruits of this country, and all of our resources. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Wallahu Akbar, Wallahu Akbar, Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. May the peace and the mercies and the blessings of God Almighty be with the nation Guyana. Assalamu alaikum.